this is Adas from Mike in Canva. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create rolling credits for your video using Canva only. You can do this with a free account, but if you'd like to try out Canva Pro, I'll be happy to give you free 45 days to use Canva Pro, no strings attached. You'll find a link in the comments below and a code to scan at the end of this video. Are you ready? Let's go. The most important thing we need to do is pick a video. Go to the video tab so you get all the video features. Once you click on that, pick the video that you want. I'm going to go with this video. I'm going to click on that and open up a blank canvas. Now what you want to do is color your background. You can either go to the color menu and just paint it black, or you can search for something cool like under videos, for example, this one and have it as your background or search the photos tab for a cinematic background, maybe something like this. So I'm just going to go with an ordinary black. Now what we want to do is add a text box. Let's go to text, add a text box. And here you're going to type in all the people that you want to credit. So I just went ahead and did that. And there it is. Now two things that you need to do. Number one is select all your text boxes. Go to position and click on tidy up so you have even spaces. The second thing that you want to do is again grab them all and group them together so they all move as one unit. So now let's go down here and set the timing of our slide to 0 0.5, half a second. If you don't like doing this manually down here, you can just go up here to the edit timing and type in 0 0.5. Now, what we're going to do is go back to our text and place it at the bottom center. If you're not sure where the center is, just go to position, click on center, and you're set to go. So let's start from here. And now we're going to duplicate the slide. Go to the three dots, click on duplicate page. And now the timing has been duplicated as well and the text. So now what we want to do is go to this plus sign, click on it, and click on add transition. Here you'll find this new beta transition that is called match and move. Click on that and set the duration of this transition to 0 0.02. I found that this duration is the best one for this kind of video. Now what we need to do is go back to our text and move it up a little bit. But here's another tip for me. Don't use your hand and your mouse to move it because sometimes it tends to move a little bit to the right or to the left and then it will not move up smoothly. And my tip is just click on the text box and use your arrow keys to move it up. You'll need a little bit of patience here. Okay, I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to go to my second slide. Click again on the three dots, duplicate page. And as you can see, that transition has been duplicated as well, but always check yourself because if it's not, you'll have to do this manually. Make sure you're set on 0 0.02. Go to the third slide and let's move it up a little more. I'm going to stop here and repeat my steps. Okay, now you want the last slide to be blank and black. No text whatsoever. Now, do notice that for some reason the timing has changed from one slide to another. I have some 0 0.4 here, and I want to make sure that they are all set to the same timing. So just click on the first one, go to the edit timing up here, set it to 0 0.5, and click apply to all pages. Now it's all set to 0 0.5. If you want to add some audio, you can just go ahead and click the audio tab and find something cinematic. Or you can also search for film. I found this one, Our Only Hope for Love, and I really liked its ending. So I'm just going to click on that, add it to my video, and maybe set the volume, and go to audio effects and fade it out. Okay, now if you want to make this longer because my text wasn't too long, you can always go down here to this grid view and duplicate your pages. 
and just click Control A, Control C, and then Control V and duplicate your pages. In case you have a long list, I suggest you delete this black slide and then let's see what it looks like. This is not going to be 100% smooth, but it's as close as it gets. Hope you like it. If you want to try out Canva Pro, here's a link for you that gives you 45 days for free. Just scan the code or click on the comments below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.